During his twenties, Prince Harry steadily gained the love and admiration of the British public thanks to his personality as well as his royal, charity and military work. Popularity surveys regularly ranked the Duke of Sussex among the most loved members of the royal family. In November 2017, at the time of his engagement announcement, pollster YouGov found Harry was polling even better than the Queen in its rolling popularity chart. However, the Duke's approval rating started going into free fall in January 2020, when he and Meghan shocked the world by releasing a statement saying they intended to carve out a new progressive role for themselves within the royal family. The changes highlighted by the Sussexes would have seen the pair becoming financially independent from the sovereign grant and, as a consequence, undertaking for-profit projects while also retaining their royal and military patronages and the right to carry out royal duties. Following talks held on that same month in Sandringham, it was decided the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would be able to quit as senior royals, live abroad and pursue financially profitable deals but would no longer use their HRH styles and represent for the Crown and the Queen. While, according to YouGov, Harry was liked by 71% of the people surveyed in October 2019, his approval rating plunged to 55% in January 2020, a clear sign of a changing public mood. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's popularity continued to drop and, in the second quarter of last year, he was liked only by 31% of the people polled. During 2021, the Duke criticized the firm and some of his family members in a number of public appearances. Most notably, during the Sussexes' interview with Oprah Winfrey in March, Harry claimed his father Charles and brother William were trapped within the firm. While stressing his bond with the Queen remained strong despite his move abroad, the Duke described his relationship with Prince Charles saying there's a lot of hurt that's happened, and I will continue to make it one of my priorities to try and heal that relationship. Harry appeared to criticize his upbringing in May 2021, when he said he wanted to break the cycle to avoid passing on to his children some form of pain and suffering he may have experienced because of the pain and suffering that perhaps my father or parents suffered. The Duke spoke again about his father in the mental health series he co-created with Ms Winfrey, The Me You Can't See, also released in May. Accusing the Prince of Wales of not protecting him and William when they were younger, the Duke said, My father used to say to me when I was younger, he used to say to William and first, well, it was like that for me, so it's gonna be like that for you. That doesn't make sense. Just because you suffered, it doesn't mean that your kids have to suffer. In fact, quite the opposite. If you suffered, do everything you can to make sure that whatever experiences, negative experiences that you had, you can make it right for your kids. In the wake of the Oprah interview, royal commentator Daniela Elsa said the timing of the broadcast, released as Prince Philip was in hospital, and the Sussexes' bombshell claims had created a huge gap between Meghan and Harry and the rest of the royal family that would be difficult to fill. In an op-ed for news.com.au, she wrote in March, the notion that Harry might one day ever again stand on the Buckingham Palace balcony surrounded by his family in a heartwarming show of unity now seems laughable. However, the ice between Harry and his closest relatives was broken first in April, when he attended the funeral of Prince Philip, and later in July, when he returned to England to unveil, alongside William, the statue of Princess Diana in Kensington Palace. In the second half of 2021, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex focused their attention on their for-profit and charity work, including campaigning in favor of vaccine equity. Royal sources and experts have hinted the Sussexes would be welcome to join the celebrations for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June. Following the birth of Lilibet Diana, it was also claimed the Duke wants his daughter to be christened at Windsor much like Archie Harrison. As it was revealed last month, the Duke still considers England his home and wants to return with his family, if he can guarantee their safety through the use of protection offices. After months of hurt among many British royal fans in the wake of Harry's move abroad, the public appears to be warming up again to him. The most recent data released by YouGov regarding its popularity ranking shows the Duke is now liked by 39% of the 1543 people polled in the fourth quarter of 2021. While his popularity remains very low, 21%, among people born prior to 1964, younger generations look more favorably at Harry, with 3% of Generation X members and 51% of millennials saying they like him.